everybody. It's been a wild few days for LSU athletics in the wake of LSU's Elite Eight exit at the hands of Iowa. The team LSU absolutely clowned in the title game last year by, what was it, nearly 30 points. And they get their revenge. You know, Caitlin Clark went off, got her revenge, went off for 39 or whatever it was, a historic performance by her. Angel Reese, 17 and 20. She did not, you know, back down from this moment at all herself. Um, really, the supporting cast wasn't there for LSU women's, and they they fell by, you know, I think it was, what, seven points, something like that, six points. And a lot closer than the score may indicate, there was just some moments in the game that kind of took it away from LSU's control. And really, none of that matters because it has all been, like, forgotten at this point that LSU even were playing games because I guess they're just a, a giant controversy generator and um, just for clicks and hits for these uh, these national media people. They just, they cannot stop their obsession with LSU and it won't stop. Um, the LA Times, their article before the UCLA game, the Kent Babb stuff, South Carolina alum trying to put out this article before the tip-off of their first-round game. Constantly, at every turn, someone has tried to, to screw with LSU and their tournament. Get under Kim Mulkey's skin. Get under the, the players. And maybe, just maybe, this was just enough, just too much for, for this team to handle. Because... I mean, they've been doing this for almost two years now, being public enemy number one in a way. And so, what what else could happen more than just being, ha, 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 you lost, LSU, uh-huh, you thought you were so great and so big, ha, uh-huh, Caitlin Clark got revenge, yeah, yeah, yeah. Times that by a thousand, a hundred thousand when you have the whole national anthem aspect to this whole thing. Now, it's been very funny to me to see a lot of people who are so anti-Colin Kaepernick kneeling for the, the anthem suddenly defending LSU and the fact that they're sitting out the anthem or, or were unaware, whatever. It's very funny to me to see people be like, well, Kaepernick and... NFL guys who do this piss me off, but my LSU Tigers, they just didn't know. Screw you, you know, like, it's so funny to see how people have gone from left to right on on this whole issue, as well as, you know, people saying Kim Mulkey is a a make America great again Trump person. She's such a Trump person. She's such a Trump voter, conservative anti-gay, all these all these things they've accused her of. And now, because of the anthem, now she's woke. Now she is liberal. Now she is a Biden lover and an America hater. Like, what is it? Is she a Trump-supporting, Biden-loving, America-hating, make America great again person? Like, I, I, does... Does that make any sense to you? Don't those things kind of conflict or contrast a little bit? I I don't know. But I guess you could love Trump and Biden at the same time. But, I mean, I guess you'd have to have horrible taste in, like, the two worst presidents of all time. But, you know, that's neither here nor there. But uh, it's, um, it's funny to me that this has gone all over the place. But what's really not funny at all about this is seeing the LSU fan base divide over this issue. I have seen so many... I have been born and raised in Louisiana. I'm 71. I've supported my Tigers forever. What happened was an absolute disgrace, and I will not be supporting my Tigers and disavowing Kim Mulkey and all this stuff. And it's like... Do you guys even know what's going on? Yes, their excuse was that they didn't know it was the anthem. They didn't know when the anthem was played. They have a 
a pregame routine 12 minutes before, you know, the game and all this stuff, and there's the context of the fact that they haven't been out for any of the anthems, supposedly. I'm not sure how long that goes, how long back that goes for, how long they've been doing this, but apparently... LSU women's basketball have not gone out for any of the national anthems, which it's like, for one thing, it's the, it's the most, you know, overly, it's just pageantry of patriotism. It's fake patriotism. It's not even, it's, it's Pentagon money shoved into these sports entities, into these owners, into these franchises pockets. Hey, we'll pay you millions if you do the flag and do the national anthem because it helps with our recruiting numbers. Like, that's all they care about is money, and and that's all this is about. And so to cry patriotism foul here is kind of, when when you kind of look in the background, it's kind kind of ridiculous. But at the same time, a willing disrespect for the American flag for this country is something I will not stand for. I bet you didn't expect to hear me say that. I'm a, I'm a son of a veteran from the Vietnam War. I know what price veterans pay for this country to keep our freedoms rolling along. The freedom to even hate this country rolling along. And so I love America. I love this country. Love it or leave it is how I feel. In saying that, at the same time, there's some interesting things here. And I think this this is my theory on the whole thing. Kim Mulkey isn't stupid. Kim Mulkey has been doing this for 50 plus years or whatever. You know, she's been around the game for however long. She won a national championship. She's won four national championships as a coach. Like, won one as an assistant. She represented the Olympic USA national team, won a gold medal. You think she hates the, hates America, hates the anthem? Why would she have represented the USA? I'm sure there's footage of her with her hand over her heart in those in that footage. What I think is going on, I don't have too many sources within the LSU women's basketball program like I do football. But from what I've been hearing, this is a compromise. Now, I'm not 100% sure on this, but I think you can read between the lines, and I think you might find this to be probably the accurate place where this situation sits. Kim Mulkey doesn't support kneeling for the anthem. Kim Mulkey does not support that stuff. Okay. But she knows some of her players want to kneel, maybe. Okay. So maybe this was kind of a compromise. We're, I'm not going to let you kneel. You're going to piss off the entire state of Louisiana. What we're going to do is we just we'll just make it up an excuse and we just won't be out there. That's that's what it seems like. And I don't really know how to to best judge or react to that other than say it seems like Kim Mulkey is in a tough place with that and then some of the players on her team pulling her in different directions potentially. And it's all up to speculation. Like this is pure speculation that I'm throwing out here. Because we don't know. And the, uh, there's a lot of people going around saying stuff with 100% certainty and they don't have a clue. 